we've got this wall on the north boundary that's 150 feet long. And we've got some fencing that we need to get to enclose an area of 1,000 square feet. And we're going to use the wall as one of the borders. And then we'll have two widths and a length. And we want and we know that the cost of the W sides is five times the cost of the fencing that goes along the L side. So the cost function, <clears throat> if we just assume it's like a dollar per foot for the fencing, then the cost for the W sides is five times two W, and then plus the cost for the Fencing that goes along the L side would be plus L. So the cost function is 10W plus L. <clears throat> now this equation over here is what allows us to establish a relationship between L and W so that we can get the cost function depending on only one variable. So if L is over L or 1000 L to the minus one. So I can rewrite the cost function in terms of L, 10 times 1000 L to the minus one plus L. Now we were told to list the restrictions on the different variables. Uh, we know that L has to be at least five feet long. So we could say something like this about L. L is between uh, five and really it can't be 150 because if it was 150, we wouldn't have anything left for W. So W has to be uh, greater than or equal to 5. W is greater than or equal to 5. We have to use at least 10 feet for L, uh, for W, so that would leave 140 feet at the most for L. So I think those are your restrictions right there. And that'll just help us to determine if there's any values we need to reject. So what we want to do at this point is it's like a maximum minimum problem. We want to find the derivative of C with respect to L, set it equal to zero, uh, find the critical numbers, and those values are either going to give us maximum or minimum values for the cost function. Uh, so I'll just call it C prime. And we can picture this as 10,000 L to the minus one, so by the power rule, minus 10,000, L to the minus 2, plus the derivative of L is 1. Set that equal to 0, and we've got 10,000 over L squared equals 1. L squared equals 10,000. Take the square root of both sides, plus or minus 100. But of course, based on these restrictions, L has to be between 5 and 140. So we can reject the negative value in the context of this problem. If L is 100, W is 10 because 1,000 divided by 100 leaves us 10. Now, we could take the steps to prove that these values of L and W do indeed generate a minimum value by taking the second derivative, or we could use the little number line test. Um, I'll leave that to the viewer. Okay. Uh, but th there's the answers to the problem. Thank you.